<laughs> Hello and welcome to another CTrader video tutorial. Today I'm going to discuss price patterns or chart patterns and how it is integrated into the CTrader platform so you can automatically find out when these patterns are formed. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you a bit of brief background information about AutoChartist. So what you can see on the chart now is the homepage for AutoChartist. You just type in autochartist.com. Now this gives you a bit more information about the company. They're a financial market content analytical company, and they leverage big data to actually provide these patterns and other things to brokers. Okay. Um, if you go to the page and scroll down, it'll give you more information, tell you all about them. Um, we've got some major brokers using them already. So the data that they provide is provided to quite a few brokers so in the past people would normally draw the patterns onto the page and find out about chart patterns and how they work um, but now you can have it automatically done and find out when it occurs so it's a, another tool to use it's not something that's going to be um, something that's going to make a big difference but it will give give you another signal to help you with your trading now if you're not familiar with price patterns go to Investpedia um, I'll put this uh, link at the bottom of the YouTube page plus on our blog page so you can find out more about it um, in a nutshell um, a technical analysis transitions between rising and falling trends are often signaled by price patterns. Now there's two types of price patterns. You've got reversal, when it goes from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. You've also got continuation patterns. There are many different types. If you scroll down this page, it will go into more detail. Um, so it can pretty much says, um, I'll take another, I'll just copy what they're saying here. Patterns are distinctive formations created by movements of security prices on a chart and are the foundation of technical analysis. And they can be as simple as trend lines or they can be as complex as double head and shoulder formations. So that's uh, price patterns. Um, if you're aware of it already, so I had to go into that. If people that aren't aware of it, come to this page, find out more about price patterns and you can go from there. Now, what I'm gonna do is go and show you CTrader. Now, here's CTrader. Now, not all copies of CTrader, not all broker versions will support Auto Chartist. As far as I know right now, there's IC Markets and Fondex. I'm sure there are more brokers. I'm going to find out. I'm just waiting back to find out. And I'm going to put it onto the bottom of this YouTube channel. Uh, so I'll actually put it on our blog page, but I'll put a link so you can find out. So you can find out what brokers actually support um, this feature. So when you've got, um, at the moment, I'm using CTrader Beta, but if I highlight the mouse at the bottom of this trade window down here, so you make sure this trade window is open. Um, you can just go layout and you can trade watch window actually. If I open that one and it's open and closed. Anyway, if you click on the auto chartist tab, now it comes up with this list here. I'm just gonna drag it a bit bigger. Now this list shows you all the patterns that are firm, sorry, formed. And now these are shown on a 15 minute intervals. So these are patterns that are formed on 15 minute intervals. And you've got the quality of the pattern on the right hand side and the length where they were formed and what the name of the pattern going down here. I'll just highlight the mouse again, okay? Then it tells you the direction of the actual pattern, bullish or bearish in this case. Um, it tells you their Forex and it gives you the symbol. So if I just do an example, if I do um, GBP USD, which I've already got on the chart, it's already on a 15 minute chart. Um, it's got a low quality there, but I'm just going to open it up just for demonstration. Actually, I'm going to open up this one here, which is higher quality. It's a bullish signal, a channel up um, with a higher quality. If I double click on it, it comes up with a pop-up window and it shows you that there was a channel on this. Um, and as you see, there is a channel here, these two here. If I can actually uh, drag a trend line, you can see that there is a channel and I'll drag another trend line going up. Oops, now drag it again, try again. That's me. So it's a very simple trend line and uh, they're predicting that the price will go up. And if you have a look where their prediction, they're predicted around about here, I think somewhere around about here. But if you have a look, the price is increasing, it's popping up. So again, it's just as a indication of what's going on. Now the information you've got on here, um, I don't know all the information because I went to the C Trader help page and it didn't actually tell me, um, but I can go through the ones that um, I feel that I understand. So you've got obviously the exchange is Forex, you've got the symbol, you've got the time interval, the pattern is channel up. And as you can see, the price is rising and it will go above this, it will push above this, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got you the, the time it was identified, the length of the candles, the direction, which is bullish, uh, trend change is a continuation of trend, which is bullish, uh, the quality, the initial trend, volume, um, 
uniformity, I'm unsure about that, and clarity, I'm unsure, and then breakout. So those are the values. I'm going to find out what they mean, and I'll actually put that on our blog page. So that's for that. So you've got all of these um, down here that you can go and have a look at. Here's one on a 60-minute uh, time frame for NOC JPY. Um, and this one's showing you a, another channel. I'm going to try and find one that's not a channel, a falling wedge. So there's a falling wedge. So you've got all different types of patterns. Um, you can try and find one, the ascending triangle. Is an ascending triangle. So as you get to understand price patterns, um, you will understand what the you know, probability of them actually moving in a certain direction, and then you can use this. So this is a tool that you can use uh, to help your trading um, so you don't have to draw out the patterns yourself. And at the end of the video, I'll just quickly show you the like a crib sheet of uh, price patterns that you can print out. And I used to have one above my desk that I used to look at, and then I used to scan the markets to see if a pattern was actually forming. Um, but with this tool here, you can actually be told when they form without actually having to do that. So I'm going to scroll through the other categories now. You've got Fibonacci patterns. I have to wait a few seconds to get the data. There it comes. So this tells you that, um, for example, on EURUSD, a Gartley pattern was formed on the 240 minute time frame. And there you go, it shows you a Gartley pattern was formed. It shows you the targets, Fibonacci targets. So again, uh, this will actually tell you when the patterns are forming. It won't actually draw it onto the chart, but this is historical data. It might be in the past that it's happened, so it might have already happened. Um, you don't get told as it happens, but you can actually scroll through these and use these as you wish, really. And the last one is key levels. Um, let's wait for that to load. Okay, so key levels is also quite useful. You've also got price targets on the CTrader platform for those people that aren't already using it. If I go to view and options and I go to uh, targets and I turn that on, did I turn that on? Yeah, targets, there's a target up there. So price targets uh, is coming from another provider, which is Trading Central, and that provide, tells you where a target, where the price should reach. Use this, into, use this as well uh, with this feature here, and it'd be quite useful. So again here, um, I'm on GBP USD. there's nothing I can see on there. I'll just pick a random one, Euro JPY, and it's saying there's a support line there. So it's telling you when the support line is and what, what time frame and uh, whereabouts the support level is, and it tells you the quality of it which is two stars, three stars, or four stars. So this one here, this support level for this currency is supposed to be quite strong. So these are just tools that you can use that are integrated with the CTrader platform um, that you can use to help your trading. And again, all of these are just indications. So I feel as a trader, the more information you've got at hand that you can just quickly look at will give you more of an idea or more of a judgment to make a decision on your trading rather than having nothing. And if you look at the page at the top here, you can see that price will push north and go bullish. It'll go past that, move quite fast, actually. I'm almost tempted just to sit here and watch it because it will probably just go a bit faster when it goes through there. Anyway, so that's that. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you was... Um, the CTrader help page. So you've got help.ctrader.com. If you come down here and you click on auto chartist, it gives you a very brief overview of this feature, but it doesn't go into it in too much detail, um, which is probably why we've done this video to help more people. And the only other thing I wanted to show you is if you come to our website, clickagro.com, we've got trading tools, software, and all sorts of stuff for CTrader. And if you go under channels and our pin interest channel, and in here, um, if I go to boards, and scroll down, you've got traders candlestick patterns. Now, we've collected all these over time. Now, these are various uh, candlestick patterns that you can actually, I'm just going to try and find a half decent one for you. If I open that one by Steve Burns, he's pretty good. So you can't quite see it. These are just various patterns. There are others on there, but the idea is um, you can actually get a crib sheet. You can print this out and have it above your desk to see how and work out all the different types of patterns. If you wanted to actually analyze the markets, and know, and be and know when a pattern has formed a price pattern. You can just print out one of these and use it this way. Okay, that's it. I'm just going to go back to see trader see if that's gone up. So if you are interested, sorry, what I was going to say. Um, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, come to our YouTube channel if you are on YouTube and just subscribe so you know that as soon as we release a video, uh, you get um, a message. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.